This is going to be your weekly chakra energy check-in. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. We're going to take a look at the energies you may be experiencing throughout your chakras. So in the comments, please let me know your word of the day, word of the week. How are you feeling? Your general vibe. So as I'm filming this, the sun is shining. It's a very warm day where I'm located. And even though it looks really beautiful out, I have to say that the energy is very heavy. You know, there is this up and down. I talk about it all the time. So many emotions coming to the surface for people. And I'm going to repeat myself from the other day. Oh, look at the hyena energy. We had this recently in another video of mine. Dare to be different. See, that energy is coming up again. This was actually from the review um, that I did of these oracle cards. These are the Archangel uh, animal oracle cards. So check out that video if there's something in there that maybe might resonate with that energy. But as I was saying... I think I'm going to repeat myself a little bit in regards to the energy being about people taking things personally. I kind of feel like there's this vibe where the emotions are running high. People are questioning why things are happening to them instead of for them. And there's this element of personal coming into the mix, you know? So if you're feeling like that, Take a look at the bigger picture and understand that things are happening for a reason, okay? Now, naturally, this is that Mercury retrograde pre-shadow. We will be going fully into Mercury retrograde very soon, but uh, it's this leading up energy, you know, this intensity of miscommunications already happening, the glitches, uh, people popping back, you know, popping back up from the past. So let's take a look at the overall themes and messages. And we have here the bat. Now the bat energy, funny that that was at the bottom of the deck when I saw the hyena card. I even noticed it as I turned it over. And look, it's like I couldn't get away from it. So we can't get away from that energy. Um, this says, see through illusion into truth. This is my point. Are you seeing things clearly? Because if you're taking things personally, it may not be what you think it is, okay? So let's take another card to see what's going on here. And we have grace within the chaos, accepting life's complexities, the seduction of distraction. There you go. Very interesting that I see already a theme of red. I mean, these are all chakra colors naturally throughout these cards, but I'm seeing a lot of red here. And red is the root chakra. The root chakra is also Mars energy. Mars is about chaos and, you know, war and aggression. And I'm not surprised because Mars is in Gemini. And right now this is an energy where people are popping off. I mean, that's Leo energy too. It's almost like it's all linked. There's all these little nuggets, you know, all these like little facets that come together with one big cluster of energies. And it's difficult energy. Not gonna lie. Okay, so let's take a look at another card. It's funny, I pick up a red deck. Go figure. All right, let's see. What do we need to know? <laughs> I just picked whatever deck was next to me. Imagine. Interesting. There's a couple of things I want to say about that card. There's nothing wrong with imagination. To me, that's a level of manifestation. Like, for example, if you love driving through different neighborhoods to imagine yourself living a different life, a different lifestyle, you're imagining yourself in a relationship with someone who is loving and giving and all the things that you desire, nothing wrong with imagination. But sometimes we have to recognize that we can't always be in the potential of something. We have to balance it with the reality, you know, there's always that age old line that says we marry potential, we divorce reality. And um, we've got to basically have a balance right now. So nothing wrong with imagination or wanting to manifest. But at the same time, you've got to use discernment. Okay. So let's get into the cards. This is the chakra wisdom tarot, which as you know, has all the different colors of the chakras or energy centers in the body. You know, before I continue, pardon me, but I was just thinking about what was on this card, you know, where it says like distraction. Some of you may be distracting yourselves with imagination or the highlight reel, you know, so be very, very mindful of that. Now, as I was just saying that a card went flying and there it was. Somebody's in heartbreak right now. So the root chakra, okay, Mars energy, 
we have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is sadness and heartbreak. So I'm not sure how many of you are feeling that right now or a heaviness in your heart, but that seems to be the vibe. Let's see what else we need to know here. The island. Some of you may be feeling at a distance from somebody. You might be feeling isolated right now. Hmm. Let's see what else we need to know about this. I have my other Oracle deck here to clarify. Yeah, the fish hook. Someone's feeling powerless, feeling helpless, paralyzed. It's a tough one. The fish, um, the fish hook card can be about abundance. You know, it can be Pisces energy. Interesting that I mentioned Pisces because whenever I talk about balancing spirituality and practicality, that's the Pisces card in the Moonology deck. And I always think about, again, you marry potential, you divorce reality. So there could be something to that right now. Let's take a look at the sacral chakra, which is Venus. Self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. And there's the Fool. The Fool card is all about trusting and taking a leap of faith, believing in yourself, making those dreams real. You know, a lot of this is about accepting the truth, accepting what is, you know, it is what it is. It, it's hard sometimes, you know, and yes, there are complexities and there can be chaos and distraction and being seduced by imagination and distraction and all these other things. And... It doesn't serve us. We have to have some reality mixed in there, right? Some truth. There's the diamond ring going to the next level. Look at the red in the cards. The root chakra. Proposal, intentions, going to the next level. I mean, this can be about a relationship. doesn't have to be. Somebody just feels broken hardship misfortune two steps back it's like somebody feels like they don't know how to make any moves because when they try something pulls them backwards but you have to be living in your authentic truth and again very difficult sometimes let's see what's going on with the solar plexus now the solar plexus is all about your personal power the wheel of fortune okay there's growth, there's expansion, there's good luck. And I find it interesting that, you know, again, this is a heart chakra card here, the green. And the broken vase reminds me of a broken heart. It's almost like, you know, we're kind of tiptoeing here. We've got to leave this brokenness and we got to shift. Okay, let's see what oracle cards go with this Wheel of Fortune. The stars, wishes come true, peace dreams, falling in love. Beautiful. We like that. We want that. But how do we get that? We have to release the old. Somebody's crying over spilled milk. Five, five, tower moments, big changes ahead. Look, there are some people that are willing to go with the flow and go with the shift. And then there are some who are fighting the shift, crying over spilled milk. Why is this happening to me? It's not that it's happening to us, it's for us, you know? And again, it's this energy of taking things personally. Okay, let's take a look at the heart chakra and see what we need to know. Six of coins. You want equal giving and receiving in your heart. And there's the woman card. Receiving. This could be you or someone you're dealing with, but essentially it's about being in the feminine energy and allowing yourself to receive. There's too much overgiving, and that overgiving just brings difficulty. The crew in sync, working together. Look, this is the whole point. A partnership is about working together, making it work together. Team effort. If you're in a one-sided connection, and it's not working. You've got to real. You got to. You got to realize that it's equal giving and receiving. Pardon me. <laughs> I was trying to say two things at once. Okay, 
let's take a look at throat chakra. Ten of coins. What brings you happiness? What brings you abundance? You also have to speak it into existence. You gotta believe it. Your words have to match your energy. The rider, messenger, see? Speak it into existence. Full speed ahead, green light, progress. This could also be a message coming into you. It's time. It's time to make moves. It's time to go full speed ahead. It's time to manifest the things that you want. Okay, let's take a look at the third eye chakra. Intuition. There you go. The high priestess. Intuition. Signs and synchronicities. But remember what I always say about signs and synchronicities. Angel numbers. Don't let them pull you backwards. Don't attribute them to a specific person. It's not about whether you see the birthday or the this number or the that number. Take them as a sign of being on the right track. You know? Don't let them pull you backwards to a comfort zone that's not so comfortable. See, there's the owl seeing through the facade. Insights, being aware and observant. Explore the unknown, being open to the unknown so that you can figure out what's going on. In order to gain clarity, you gotta make some moves. Bodybuilder, it's time. I've seen that card so much recently. You know, you're building, you're building something right now. Okay, let's take a look at the crown chakra. The Hierophant. Oh, we got that interesting, interesting spiritual counterparts, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. The Hierophant is very slow and methodical. It's about teaching and learning and commitment. How committed are you to your authentic truth, to your manifestations? The Magnet, are you allowing yourself to be pulled backwards into the old? Or do you feel something magnetically pulling you into something new and exciting? And look at this. Unconditional love. Romance. Devoted. Best friends. Infinite love and appreciation and affection. 6-6 six, six, equal giving and receiving and balance. Look. We went from 5-5 five, five to 6-6. Six, six. That's like making progress. Number five here is the Hierophant, you know, changes. Look, we started off, I just want to recap for a second because I know the energies are a little bit all over the place. We have this three of swords, this heartbreak. How do you get out of the heartbreak? You be a fool, you trust, you take a leap of faith. Remember, you're not starting at zero. You're starting with knowledge you didn't have before. The Wheel of Fortune is saying, it's time to shift. There's growth, there's expansion, and there's good luck. And by the way, the Wheel of Fortune is kind of the halfway point on the fool's journey. It's like work towards your next goal, then shift towards your balance, the six of coins, equal giving and receiving. When you achieve that balance, you can have that 10 of coins, which is tangible fulfillment. It's like having your relationship, your, your career, your, your life in order. Then you allow yourself to ascend even more so spiritually and more so slowly, methodically, going towards your goal, committing yourself to you, and maybe even to another person, a magnetic attraction, connection with real unconditional love and beautiful future. The question is, are you open to it? You know? All right, let me take some cards. I didn't know which deck I was gonna grab, but let's take these. The Human Spirit Oracle. Hmm. I think it's so important to get out of nature right now. I see this card all the time. You gotta ground yourself. And look at the third eye here. Trust your intuition. C 
see, here's the thing. And look at the placement of the cards, by the way. I just want to make a point. And that is at the bottom of the deck here, or bottom of the, of the cards, I should say, Three of Swords, Sadness, Am I Blue? Are you sad? You can be, oh, wow, okay. It all comes at the very end of the reading always. Look, you can be in the energy of imagine. There's the third eye, there's the third eye. Which perspective are you seeing? Are you in this energy where you're sad and where you're in this maybe illusion or, you know, wearing a mask, you know, the potential of something? Or are you grounded? Are you going in nature, feeling good about yourself and being open to new things? There are more chapters to be written. Your story isn't over. And I think that's the important thing to recognize. I really hope this resonates with you. As always, I appreciate your likes and your comments. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really means the world to me. Thank you so much for listening. And if you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. Take care and have a wonderful day.